Puerto Rico, 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 Hey everybody, what's going on? What's going on? Welcome to the temple. My name is Monk Luigi. Here in this channel, this is where I give my two cents to the dollar. And I've got to say, wow. Just wow, just wow, just wow, just wow. Um, <laughs> as he saw in the thumbnail, apparently something beautiful has happened over the past week. I believe it was two days or so. Where uh, the federal government uh, in this administration has given some money allocated finances to Puerto Rico so that's pretty amazing it's a huge win it's a huge win it's a huge gain so I wanted to cover this article I believe it was about 900 million dollars or so so I'm gonna skip a little bit of the transitions but maybe not uh, so that way we can read this article and I can give my two cents at the end of it all okay so let's try this out. Transition, boom. All right, everyone. All right, all right, all right, all right. Um, so I have the article pulled up here. Puerto Rico gets over 900 million in education funds previously restricted by Trump's administration. Our students have endured a lot since the hurricane from 2017 to earthquakes and COVID-19 pandemics and they deserve to go back to normal. That was Governor Pedro Pelosi um, making this statement. Now, if y'all don't know who Governor Pedro Pelosi is, I have an article of that as well opened here. This is the governor of Puerto Rico, uh, the reconstructed. I don't know that much de uh, details on this governor. I'm gonna probably do some more digging to see who he is and what he's about and what he stands for. But this video is all about Puerto Rico being able to get this educational funding for them to be able to push forward in, um, in the future. So let's read this out. Puerto Rico has been granted immediate access to 912 million in federal funding. That's 912 million people <laughs> that had not been available to students in public and private schools on the island as a result of restrictions imposed by the Trump administration. Secretary of Education Miguel Cardona announced Monday. The department is committed to partnering with the supporting Puerto Rico in the efficient and effective use of the Portland funds to serve Puerto Rico students, including to safely reopen schools and maximize in-person instructional time. Cardona said in a statement, the new funds come less than two weeks after Puerto Rico reopened dozens of public and private schools for the first time since the COVID-19 pandemic began. And if y'all don't know, a lot of schools have been opening around um, the nation. I believe in New York City currently, they have opened up high, uh, not high, yeah, high schools. So they're trying to allow students to try to come in. As long as they keep the precautions, they're trying to allow people to come back into interaction as the pandemic is still spreading. So everyone, please take as much precautions, precautions as you can as this is continuing. So moving forward, the aid was awarded after Puerto Rico, Governor Pedro Peluso, uh oh, there he goes again, sent a letter to Cardona on March 5th requesting immediate access to previously approved aid in order to provide the necessary resources for the students of Puerto Rico. Peluso said in a statement, our students have endured a lot since the hurricanes from 2017 to the earthquakes and COVID-19 pandemics, and they deserve to go back to normal. These resources, uh, will provide necessary funds to, save, to satisfy the needs of our students on the island. Pelusi said in Spanish, on behalf of our children, teachers, and the parents of Puerto Rico, I thank Secretary Miguel Cardona for his commitment to supporting Puerto Rico and, resident, and President Biden for quickly granting Puerto Rico access to these federal funds. These funds include 390 million approved under the CARES Act as a result of the COVID-19 pandemic, as well as an additional aid from the Elementary and Secondary School Emergency Relief Fund and the Governor's Emergency Education Relief Fund. They also include all fiscal year 2019 department program grant funds totaling 522 million, including funds under Title I, Part A of the Elementary and Secondary Education Act of 1965, as amended in Part B of the Individuals with Disabilities Education Act. 
The U.S. Department of Education will work alongside local officials to determine how the money can be used to address the ac uh, academic, social, emotional, and mental health needs of students in the U.S. territories, according to a spokeswoman, a Republican uh, Delaware, Jennifer Gonzalez, Puerto Rico's non-voting member of Congress. Wow. Just, just wow. Like, I have to say, this is a beautiful thing, okay? This is a very, very beautiful thing that is occurring for uh, Puerto Rico. This is beautiful. This is an amazing thing. Um, I am hope, I hope, I hope, I, I just have to say it because for most people that know who I am, they know that I'm not a supporter of, you know, the president as he's been in office. Now, those who've seen my Facebook post, they know what it is. And those who've seen my Instagram post, they know what it is. I'm not a supporter. However, he's the sitting president. He's a commander in chief. So whatever he decides going forward is what I'm going to go with and I will defend and protect as well as hopefully vote for that would improve our communities. And that's all you can do is try to make sure that the nation moves forward in a beautiful and amazing uh, momentum. So with that being said, my two cents to this is this is a beautiful win for Puerto Rico. Um, also this week, if I'm not mistaken, uh, not only did Puerto Rico get $900 million, but there was also an activity in New York City in the Boogie Down Bronx, which I'm gonna see if I can try to pull up right here. Uh, uh, Big Pun was honored with the Bronx Street Corner. <laughs> gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Big Pun, uh, he's a well-known rapper. Uh, very good lyricist, uh, born in, you know, the Bronx, New York City. I listen to many of his albums. <laughs> Can't play any of the music here, but I would suggest, uh, what you call it, uh, Off With His Head. I love that. <laughs> I think it's my favorite one <laughs> from Big Pun. Or I Don't Want to Be a Player No More. Another a beautiful song by Big Pun. And he had some other collabs that he did, which was gorgeous as well. I might throw up some thumbnails of selections of songs. So this is a very good homage to Big Pun as a rapper. Uh, he's well deserved uh, to get a, a corner where he grew up and was born and raised. And it, it's beautiful to know that Puerto Rico is getting so much honor this week. Um, hoping that there's more to come for Puerto Rico. I'm gonna throw up some uh, pics somewhere up here or on the screen where there were some indications that now, in 2020, uh, Puerto Rico had like a 52% turnout where a uh, majority of them did vote to try to become a state. So that would be amazing. Uh, that would be really, really cool uh, if Puerto Rico decides to become a state of our country in America. So that way it's just on American sovereignty. So that way they can get a lot more aid and, and benefits. I do know of some people who say that they're against that because they might change the island or some other things. I'm not certain. I would have to get more details about that. But according to this article, uh, this article, <laughs> uh, wiki, and it's a Wikipedia art article, but you know, it's an indication showing that now people are more inclined to becoming a state for uh, USA. So. This is a beautiful day. Uh, this is a beautiful week, correction, because this was like two days ago. So this was a beautiful week. I uh, hope that everything moves forward and everything starts to grow back to normal as everyone is going through the pandemic. Hopefully everyone is safe. And again, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico. And don't at me for my shirt, okay? Don't at me for my shirt. <laughs> I already see that most of y'all are like, yo, man, that shirt, you need another Puerto Rico shirt. So I got you. I got you. Sadly, the other shirts I have is back in my other home, the fam. So I only brought bare necessities for reasons. I'll probably go out, go in in another video. But that's the shirt that I have repping PR right now. I'm going to get some more, okay? Don't, don't at me. You at me, man. That's all I can do is just, just take it. So I'll take my L's where it comes. So 
this this is a beautiful thing hopefully there's more to come and this is just news that i wanted to share for y'all this is a double win for the week big pun got a street name phone and pr got funding for educational grants of over 900 million dollars hopefully we can continue moving forward as a nation as we progress and grow and become a lot more thank you very much for coming to the temple and please please like, share, subscribe, and comment down below if you like the content that's coming towards you. My name is Monk Luigi, and this L is for you.